Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Here's a look at the list of the names that we've used so far this season. Next name up on the list is Jerry, and it's quite possible that we will have Jerry sometime this week. This is the area that we're watching. Invest 95, that's its current designation, uh, up to a 70% chance of development over the next seven days. And, and models have been uh, pretty excited about this really for several days. It, it's a pretty impressive wave that worked its way off the coast of Africa. Now, it has some issues here and there. The most notable is you do see that dry air sitting just to the north of the system. But as you look a bit closer and you look at the, uh, the winds with this and has been so much of what we talk about this season is just finding these pockets of conditions that are just right where we've seen a lot of wind shear right now. The location of this, you can see all these stronger winds are all mainly well to the north of this system. And as this just continues to work its way in that general westerly fashion, it will continue to work its way through an area where as far as winds are concerned, they're conducive for development. So that is definitely something that is going to help this system out. Now it's still fairly disorganized, but you're seeing a decent amount of convection with this. The drier air is sitting primarily to the north of this system, so it doesn't look like that's going to cause this a whole lot of issues. So as we go through the next several days, uh, models are suggesting it's not going to ramp up in intensity real fast, but it will be that slow, steady organization and increasing in intensity. And so you can see really in the short term, you've got that very good consensus. But as always, I mean, we see this when you have those disorganized systems, you're going to see that big spread in the computer model. So you've got anywhere from the islands uh, turning more towards a northerly direction. That does be the general theme that we saw, see all the models doing, regardless of whether this goes more to the south or a bit further to the north. Eventually, we're seeing more of that turn towards a northerly direction. So here, we're looking at the European, the GFS, the American model, and our own Fox model, and we're seeing that basically same idea, just with these three different computer models as we go through the week heading towards the weekend. We've got the Fox model a bit further to the south. You've got the GFS in the middle, and then you've got the European a bit further to the north, but they're all generally starting to make more of that turn towards the north, but still a decent spread in these models. So no really good consensus on exactly this path and exactly how this would eventually turn as we head towards the weekend and into next week. So we're still at just step one with this and there's a long ways to go uh, as far as threats to the US. That remains extremely low right now. This is more likely going to be a system that will turn uh, well to our east. Bermuda will have to watch this very closely, but we will keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.